Hello, hello. So I'm here in the, uh, the West Village. And uh, so my plan for tonight was to take us on a, on a walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. And it would do two things. It would probably be a beautiful night to do it. And also it would get me into the borough in which I live. So... Uh, Thank you, Ginger Rocks, for retweeting and liking. And uh, so what I think I might do is take a cab uh, downtown. Are you going to be available? Okay. So uh, I think I'm going to take a cab downtown, and we'll get some um, views via cab. It is lovely out. So we're going to get in the cab. So uh, I'm going down towards uh, the Brooklyn Bridge. I want to walk across the bridge so as close as you can get me over there. So we're in a cab. There you go. Thank that would have been you. bad. Hold on, let me make sure it's close. All right, so we <laughs> she forgot her yep. her phone. I'm going to move over on the seat. I mean, it is a beautiful night in New York. You can see the World Trade Center down there. We gotta get more people in here. And right now we're heading down 7th Avenue. Thank you for favoring that. two people in here tonight. Damn long enough to come. I hope so. doing, Ed? Is it Ed? Ed Dovett? So I'm in a cab heading downtown towards the uh, towards the Brooklyn Bridge. And we're going to get a we're going to walk across. This is Canal Street we're coming up to. Beautiful day in the city today. It's our cab neighbor. So if you could like and retweet everybody if, if you haven't already, get some more people in here.
Federal Trade Center. And that's Canal Street there. Tribeca Film Festival, Tribeca Cinemas. So we're getting close to City Hall and the Brooklyn Bridge here. Drop me over here would be fine. And I'll walk. I'll walk. Cool. Yeah, I know where I'm at. Putting you guys down for a sec. Uh, so 780. It's not keep it. Have a good one. Sorry, guys. Getting out of cab. So here we are, and uh, we're near the Brooklyn Bridge. This is City Hall right here, next to me. I'm on the back end of City Hall. This is the Citadel building. It's a government building. Excuse me. If any of you have ever played Grand Theft Auto 4, this building is in Grand Theft Auto 4. Landed my helicopter on it. So from here, let's give you some. There's the World Trade Center in the distance there. Cool. Hope we're all still here. This building here. Yeah. 
some street performers here right in there near the Brooklyn Bridge City Hall subway station. Guys, we're heading across the uh, the Brooklyn Bridge here uh, from Manhattan, and we're gonna go down into Brooklyn, which is where I live. So, if you're with me the other night when we were on the High Line, that took me to the extreme west side of Manhattan, which is like the furthest place for me <laughs> to get home from. So, I thought I'd make it a little easier on myself. Go across the Brooklyn Bridge. It's a beautiful night. Sun's out. So we should get um, some really nice views, and then I will be closer to home. So the building you see here, that's the uh, Verizon building. Um, back in the day, it was actually New York Telephone. Take a look at New York. That was the one Check who built it, and my dad used to work for New York Telephone, and uh, he used to work in that building uh, sometimes. He also worked at 140 West Street, but... He used to take me there when I was a little kid, so I do remember being in the, up there when I was a kid. So you see ahead of me the Brooklyn Bridge. I think it's the oldest bridge in New York. I believe it was completed in around 1886. It took many years. 
to complete. The reason I remember 1886, because I think in 1986, I remember it was the 100th birthday of it. And they were like, I remember National Geographic had a cover at the Brooklyn Bridge. So it's made of stone. Where a lot of the other bridges in New York are made of steel. This one was stone. Can't tell you enough how beautiful it is. Looking back at Manhattan, see the World Trade Center. This is Pace University here. I wish I knew the name of this building. This is a new building made by a famous architect whose name escapes me at the moment. If anyone knows what it is, feel free to shout it out. And we are heading up over. So the right side here is supposed to be this is for pedestrians. I seem to be the only one going against the stream. Uh, but then the left side is for bikes. You will see at times fortuitous making out on this bridge. For some reason it brings out the, the love in people. And they want to show that in public. They're not even on the bridge yet. They're just like on the on the way to the bridge. They're already there feeling the love. So the walkway is in the center of the bridge, unlike some bridges where the walkway is on the sides. So you see a lot of people coming into Manhattan across the bridge. I only assume because that's, you get the better views. However, we'll turn around once in a while. Of me. Well, speaking of doing a walk across the Manhattan Bridge, however, that's that's um, has the walkway on the side, and the subways run across that bridge, making it very loud, much more louder than this is right now. It, it kind of looks like everybody else is escaping a plague, like there's disease and mayhem, and they're told to come this way, and I'm the guy who's like, no, I will go the opposite way, because I have the cure. Meanwhile, these people don't realize they're walking to their deaths, but I know better. That's usually what happens in the movies. There's really not many people going the way I'm going, so. If you haven't already, please like and restream. So you get some more people in here. Putting some effort here. Uh, usually walk around in the city, but for you fine folks, I will.
All I ask is that you like and restream. So there she is, the Brooklyn Bridge. And unlike some people, we will not climb the bridge. You might have heard about the Russian dude who decided it might be a good idea to actually climb up the bridge. The NYPD had had another opinion about that. I'm not sure what happened with him. I think they told him to go back to Russia and, he, and never come back. So it's a beautiful night. That's the Manhattan Bridge over there. That's the bridge I usually take on the subway. Back at the Manhattan. The rising building. I don't know what the streaming is like, uh, you know, if we'll have signal all the way across the bridge. Hopefully we will. Guys, if you haven't liked and restreamed, I would really appreciate it if you did. I'm trying to get, it gives me the incentive to keep going. I'm going through, sorry. It's an NYPD car. So that's what we need right now. This thing is blocking the way. I feel like hijacking that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'm kind of silly talking to myself. But yeah, so if you really wanted to, you could hop on the bridge over here. However, there is a gate that you would have to get past. I really don't know why you'd want to do that. breeze right now. I don't know if you guys can hear me or if it's just a lot of wind. I think this is really, the, the way this bridge comes together with the wires, you get, you get this kind of pattern that comes down and then it just kind of blends into the stone. This all, it all comes together really well. I think they, they created this in the 1880s. I think it trumps anything that's built today. My personal feeling is they should make the Manhattan Bridge the bike bridge. And then they should make this pedestrian bridge. Looks 
like they're doing some uh, work over here. We only have one direction that we can go. Take your screenshots. It's a pretty good shot with the uh, with the sun. I'll leave it there for a second with the World Trade Center. In fact, I think I'll take a screenshot as well. Oh, dudes! I just noticed that everybody's been commenting here. My thing wasn't scrolling down. So you guys have been commenting. Were you looking at Beekman Tower? I don't know what Beekman Tower is. Was it a German who was climbing the uh, the bridge? I thought it was a Russian. Yo, dude. See you're here. Thanks for... Uh, these streams are very informative. I try to make them as informative as possible. I don't know everything. I know some things. So across there, that's the Manhattan Bridge. I can't believe I've been missing all these comments. Oh, look, a selfie stick. Uh, a selfie stick. So that's Brooklyn that we're heading towards. Yeah, it is pretty popular in good weather. There are a lot of people on here. Del do to be young again. <laughs> You're not that old, are you? Well, yeah, I think Germans did replace the flag. That was something different. There was that, and then it was just some guy who was like, I think I'll climb. And they caught him like halfway up. You know, and he acted like, I didn't know that you weren't supposed to climb. And, uh, and you know, common sense tells you, don't, don't climb the, the, the friggin' Brooklyn Bridge. It's just, it's not there for you to climb. 65, you're not that old Dell dude. Although my, my dad is 64 and uh, I don't think he, he would do it. And I know my mom wouldn't. So people uh, write on the bridge. Like, I love New York. And New York's like, yeah, don't write on my bridges. I'm stay here. I love, I love him, Laura Gaston. They broke up two seconds later. Leo and Ka. Anyway, so uh, the bridge brings out the uh, the vandal in all of us. It's really great with the light. French, French and Russian. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Maybe that's something you do in France and in Russia. Well, I know Russia. You go on YouTube, there's all these Russians climbing all these buildings. And they, I, I, you know, I have a very healthy, oh no, selfie stick. I have a very healthy, um, well, the humanity. Um, a very healthy fear of heights. And I like watching these videos that they do because it, it really pushes that, that, that trigger in me. You know, when you, you just see it and you're like, ah, why are you doing that? Don't do that. But uh, I guess that's just what they do over here, over there. But over here, we're a paranoid culture. You don't, you don't just don't climb, you just don't climb things. Yeah, there are a lot of Russians uh, living in Brooklyn, mostly in Brighton Beach, which is further south. Um, 
but I, but I think that has spread out. I do see a lot of Russians on the train in the morning. But uh, yeah, the, the Brighton Beach area is like the, the real Russian area. Where they have all the, the Russian uh, food stop shops and things like that. God, these selfie sticks are everywhere. People are actually using the city bikes. This is Brooklyn. And I don't know if you can see on here, but way out here, that's the Statue of Liberty right there. I squish her. I squish her. The sun is setting behind the buildings, casting a, a really nice shadow. Uh, from here, you can see the uh, Empire State Building. So the Empire State Building right here. This is a new apartment tower. It's just this really skinny super high tower. It's really weird. And then we have the Manhattan Bridge. Love to see a stream of what? Which, which do you want to see a stream of? So that was the full panoramic. And this is uh, Randall's Island? Is that what it is? heading up and again the bridge brings out the vandal and all of us so all the writing but then they do this thing where they, they put the locks on here which which you know they put their names you know it's supposed to be like I love you forever and now I lock our love onto a bridge and then throw away the key Little do they know they're compromising the safety of the bridge. Love kills. Oh, Statue of Liberty. Yeah, you know, I I, um, I did the Statue of Liberty. I don't know if me and my wife ever did the Statue of Liberty together. I don't think we, we did. But I do remember doing it within the last 10 years. And then I remember we did it in like, uh, yeah, like in Paris. But Paris, they, they finally cut those off because the, cause the, the fence was collapsing. Um, but I do, I do remember going in, we went in, because um, they closed the uh, Statue of Liberty in the 80s and they redid it. And that's when they put the new torch on it. And they reopened it in 86 and I went with my family right there and uh, I do remember that time going but I went a time after that so the Manhattan Bridge again really a beautiful night I can't even I wish you could feel the, the nice air sometimes it could be a little chilly up here but not tonight brought a sweatshirt with me to work because uh, it was a little chilly this morning and I thought I would need it for this walk but then I checked the, the temperature on my way out and it was 79 degrees I left the sweatshirt at work glad I did what the hell is that oh nice somebody had a fruit on a stick and then they just left it on the ground and I nearly slipped and fell on it Casting shimmering shadows through the tree, through the houses and the trees, Paul Simon patterns. This way. Now you can get all these really cool angles as you position the camera.
traffic. It's like 130 years later. And uh, it's still a uh, it's still a working bridge. So you've never been to the uh, the Statue of Liberty, haven't you? So it wasn't you. I don't know who I went with. I do remember a time I went. Because I remember the, t the first time I went in 86, I was actually really frightened going up the, the staircase in the middle. It's really steep. It's a it's a spiral staircase, and it goes through the center of the of the statue. And you you see the exposed inside of the statue, so you really get a sense of how high you are. And I was just like freaking out, not freaking out, but I was just like, oh my god! And uh, I even went down on my butt, like I just went down each stair on my butt. So I love this. I love this view here. You got the you got the wires coming down at you. It just gives you like this forced perspective thing happening. The view of the Statue of Liberty you're talking about, or the bridge. So I've done the ferry, not not streaming, but I, I mean I've done it in life. Look at this big boat. It's like a private yacht. No, it's probably not. It's too big. If it's a private yacht, I'm. Uh... All right, I'll see you. Say hi to your dad for me. If that's a private yacht. Then I hate those those people. I don't think it is though. So. is the Jehovah's Witness Watchtower. So we're going, we're going down into Brooklyn now. Oh, the bridge scene in Santa Fe Fever. That wasn't the. Uh, that wasn't this bridge. That was the Verrazano Bridge. Yeah, when they when the guy falls off the bridge. Oh, that's a good movie. And you know, for years, every time I would see that movie on TV, it would it would uh, get to that part, and something would happen, like the cable would go out. Or something. If it was on videotape, the videotape would break. And for years, I never saw that part. And then finally, I was like, damn it. Ah, oh, crap. You guys still there? Uh, I accidentally shut off the phone. Or, you know, shut the app. It's a beautiful night. Brooklyn. And if you haven't been to Brooklyn in a long time, it's really built itself up into something. It's a much more taller city than it, than it used to be. A lot of luxury apartments along here. A lot of them are empty. I'd rather have empty luxury apartments than have affordable housing. And there's a watchtower from Jehovah, Jehovah's Witnesses. So guys, if you haven't liked or restream, I would ask that you do so. It really, uh, really helps me, uh, you know, 
continue to stream. It gives me the encouragement that I need. And it gets me up there on the uh, up on the leaderboard. Not that I'm anywhere close to the leaderboard, but uh, that's a pretty cool shot. The World Trade Center right there in the middle. And uh, going this way, the... Uh, I wish I could zoom in. A periscope, you can zoom in. Like I was saying to somebody earlier today, this is the Empire State Building here. I was saying to somebody earlier today, I wish that Meerkat and Periscope could merge. And they could just kind of merge some of the really the good features of both of them. There's a carousel. There's a carousel down here. You know what I hate about the bikes? It's like, okay, fine. I'm in your lane, but don't don't get snotty about it. It's like this is a bike snobbery. Okay, I'm just trying to get these uh, last shots of the, the bridge itself before we head down into Brooklyn. Here is the Statue of Liberty. What are you saying is safer than the media portrays it? The horizontal bridge or this bridge? Brooklyn. Yeah, I mean, the media, uh, I don't know what you refer to as the media, but uh, Brooklyn these days is a pretty safe area. I mean, there are still some areas that are that are um, having issues. Uh, Bed-Stuy is one of them, but even, even Bed-Stuy is not what it used to be. But there's been a lot of shootings there lately. Um, much of Bushwick. I lived in Bushwick, uh, World Trade Center, but completely out of concrete, no steel. Yeah, I guess that's true. Okay. Um, but as I was saying, the uh, I used to work, live in Bushwick back uh, back uh, I don't know, 2000-ish, and it was pretty bad there. Bad in the sense of there was just, you know, a lot of hanging out and just a lot of drug activity, crack people. Uh, I was always approached on my way home. This woman, I remember this woman, just totally, you could tell she was on heroin and other things and she was pregnant. She asked me for, for money and I didn't have any money, but I had some, I had some uh, food. And one of the things was Ritz crackers. So I was like, well, you can have my food. And she looked at the Ritz crackers. Mind you, she was like, she had like the, the heroin skin and all that. And, so, and she said, oh, I don't want the crackers. I, I, uh, they make my skin break out. And I was just like, are you kidding me? You got heroin skin. But anyway, so uh, that was how it was then. And then it... it it, it's not like that as much. And where I'm at, it's pretty, pretty, uh, I feel pretty safe. You know, shit goes down every once in a while. Some, uh, remember, uh, I don't know, it was about a year or so, maybe a year ago, up, up the block from where I was, somebody came up behind this guy and just shot him in the head. He was standing in front of a bodega, and I think they they got an, they had gotten an altercation earlier, or maybe they knew each other or something. And just shot the guy in the head. But uh, but that's just people being you know having problems with other people. You know, I don't think that's really indicative of, of the area. Just yeah. You know. 
people get in arguments and you have guns and boom. Occasionally you'll hear a you'll hear a shot in the distance. But it's not like it used to be, not like in the you know eighties and nineties. It's very gentrified. And this is, you know, downtown Brooklyn. So downtown has been built up tremendously. Guys, if you haven't liked a restream or retweeted, uh, I would appreciate it if you did so, if you're really liking what you're seeing. Uh, 16 of you in here, supposedly. I don't know if anybody's ghosting, but uh, it would be nice if you haven't already. Also, I noticed it, it gets rid of the two buttons down here. It gives you more screen space. You hit the buttons, they disappear. At least on iOS, that's how it works. So we're going down into Brooklyn and we're going to turn back again to give one last look. I mean, we'll probably get more looks, but uh, it's beautiful the way the, the sunlight is behind the buildings. People going home from work in their cars, hitting traffic. I hate traffic. We went to Aramis High School Flatbush section. Okay, I don't know. I don't know uh, that school, but uh, I know the Flatbush section, which is a little further from where we are. We're in Prospect Leopard's Garden. Class of 67. Wow. I was I was born in 71, so I was in, even even a twinkling in my parents' eye. I don't think they met until 69. And they didn't get married until early 71. They had me late 71. Sophie said. I, uh, the selfie stick, I just find kind of like, I don't know, just something about it. Okay. So you probably need some. So the sign, bike yield pedestrians. So all that snobbery, and it's like, no, they're the ones supposed to yield to us. Uh, do screenshots print okay by the 4x6? I don't know. I've never tried. I don't do a lot of printing out of, uh, of my stuff. I just, uh, I just, I just save it digitally. Which, which I know, I, I feel at some point in my life that's gonna, that's gonna cause a problem. I have all these pictures. I have thousands of pictures digitally. But, uh, but uh, there's no physical copy of it. So if something happens to those digital pictures, which I do back up, and I continue to back up as time goes on. I get a new hard drive and I move it. And, you know, so I'm keeping up with it. But, you know, something you said back in the old days, my parents have pictures of me from uh, when I was a baby. And, uh, and they're in, you know, they're in boxes. My dad did scan them all in so that, that uh, I can have access to them. But, uh, so I don't know which way to go here. Now I'm like, I think it should go this way. I think there's a staircase over here. So it's built in 1800s, famous for arches. Okay. You check that out. It's still there. Do you know it's still there? I mean, it was built in the 1800s and it survived this long. And I think it would have some kind of landmark status. So we're going to go down here. Um, I hope I won't lose any signal going down. Fulton Landing. Borough 
call. Going down. So we, if I lose you, I apologize. See if we can get you back if that, that happens. This is just a wild card. I just lose my parents. No. Is it parents, Joe? No. What is your I chose Hawaii. Go this way. I'm thinking of. Uh, I think this takes me to Fulton Landing. I'm correct. Or it takes me to get mugged. Either way. Either way, it will be an adventure. I have a backpack on my back, so it's feeling heavy. Cadman Plaza Park. Park closes at 1 a.m. It's a vocational school. Oh, okay. Was it a vocational school when you were? When you were going? My father went to uh, printing, the printing high school in, uh, in Manhattan, on, I believe on 50th Street, between 9th and 10th. Your cousin is from Long Island? I'm from Long Island, that's where I grew up. My dad uh, was born here and so was my mom. My, well, my father was born in Brooklyn, grew up in Brooklyn. My mom was born and grew up in Queens on Farrakway. And I was born in Farrakway. And then they moved us all to Long Island. Yeah, Lindenhurst. I think you've mentioned that before. Or maybe somebody was on the stream from Lindenhurst. But... Uh, uh, Lindenhurst is not far from where I grew up. I grew up in Farmingdale. You know this park? Yeah. So I don't. Uh, I don't get over this area too too often. So. Trying to get to the landing and see if we can get some views of um, Manhattan. I should wait for the light here. Yeah, Linden Hurst, yeah. She moved to Myrtle Beach after Hurricane Sandy. Okay. I used to, uh, used to work in a theater. Uh, there was a theater in Linden Hurst I, I did shows at. I did uh, three summers. I did Dyer Van Frank. It's a little studio theater in Linden Hurst on the main street there. And uh, I did it for three summers. Mm, lifelong New York. Yeah, that's how I feel. I'm, uh, I don't think I can live anywhere else. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, maybe I'll get to a different point in my life where I'll go. You know, I've had enough New York, but right now, I can't imagine living anywhere else. It's all I've known. Most people come here from someplace else. So what are you saying? You know, all through the 60s, it was academics only. A famous senior graduated from around this. Uh, she later became Barbara Streisand. Oh. Wow. 
don't know, we're getting, getting quite the, the history of Lindenhurst. All right, so now uh, we're going back towards the bridge. We're on the bottom, we're below the bridge. <laughs> it's just funny, I'm doing a walking tour of the Brooklyn Bridge and we're talking about Lindenhurst. Lived in uh, Brooklyn, Queens, Rockaway. Cool. Yeah, like I said, uh, a lot of my uh, well, my mother's side of family came from far away, and uh, my father grew up in Brooklyn. And uh, he lived in uh, Flatbush Avenue, uh, 230 Flatbush Avenue, which used to be a bank. Now it's a check cashing place. It's not far from where I live right now. It's kind of funny. You know, as most people in that, that time who were having families of their own in the 70s, um, they moved out to Long Island to give us, you know, a better life. You know, a yard, all that stuff. And then I moved back. And, uh, my grandmother always lived in, she lived in Bay Ridge. She moved to, after, after my father left and they, 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 they moved out of the place on uh, Slapfish Avenue. They, they, they moved to Bay Ridge. So she lived there uh, when I was growing up and we used to visit her. So, you know, the, the seed of Brooklyn was planted, you know, got really, uh, in my blood I used to stay with her for for weeks at a time at certain points really a beautiful night Heading towards the uh, Fulton Landing, and uh, we'll get some really good views of Manhattan from there. Right now, you see the bridge. town are you referring to? Brooklyn? I don't know if that's true. Or are you talking about Lindenhurst? It's Lindenhurst, yeah. And Farmingdale. Although I felt there was a pretty good mix uh, when I was growing up. Thanks. Thanks for the, the compliment on my commentary. I'm just talking, you know, so, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, it's hard to, uh, to fake that a little bit. I mean, I guess you can, but, you know, some people can be a little bit more planned, a little bit more uh, polished. I'm just talking. Things come to mind. Food cart. Back is hurting a little bit tonight. I had a really hard day at work tonight too. One thing about live streaming, I'm doing more walking than I usually do. So, it's a good way to get me out there. You know, like some people get a dog because you know they walk the dog, it gets, gives them exercise. It's live, that's how live streaming is to me. So we're in Front Street. Old front and old Fulton Street. Oh, Ocean Parkway, yeah. Not far from Ocean Parkway. 
I uh, I live near um, I live near F Flatbush Avenue and um, Flatbush Avenue and uh, and Lincoln Road in Prospect Lepers Garden. Yeah, I used to be an actor a long, long time ago in the galaxy far, far away. Uh, and then I shift over into the production end of it. So I did, I did uh, some directing, but but mostly I got into the uh, the the stagecraft, the uh, uh, stage manager, production manager, lighting, sound, that sort of thing. I did that for many years in New York, and then um, a lot of pizza places over here. And uh, so I did that for many years in New York. Yeah, off Broadway. And uh, sorry. I don't know. I think it was like. And then I just got to a point where uh, it was taking a lot out of me, and it was given. You know, you're always hustling for the next thing, the next thing. And had some disappointments, okay. some some things that I thought oh, were going to happen <laughs> and didn't happen. Um, and then I met my wife, which, uh, which kind of like makes you go, oh shit, I need to like do something with money. And that's the Sekatoga Massive Keeper. It is a Sekatoga, Sekatoga Avenue in, in Farmingdale. I recognize all these, these Indian names, Massapequa and and Sekatog and other ones. Oh, there's a Shake Shack here. Man. Oh, I almost stepped on a dog. Sorry, fella. <laughs> so I can't resist. I'm gonna get a. Uh, I'm gonna get a shake. Put you guys down for a sec. Put my money away. I don't like that term. It just sound, it's just very trite to me. I mean, if you, if you want to call it that, I'm not going to begrudge you that. But, uh, yeah, it, it seems a little bare. It's a building that was built off of many compromises and um, off a, of, off a, of, I don't know, off of feelings at the time. You know, there, there were quite a bit of feelings of, you know, freedom, terrorists hate our freedom, and we are freedom lovers, they are freedom haters, and uh, it's just kind of, it's like yeah, kindergarten, you know, it's one World Trade Center, you know, it's, it really has no other meaning than that, 
I don't think it shows anybody anything except to us. But you know, if you want to, you know, I don't begrudge anyone feeling any differently. Yeah, that's Shake Shack. Like I said, I had, I had a, I can't pay, pass up the Shake Shack. They're pretty good. I need something refreshing. It's been a long walk. I had done a stream earlier on Periscope, and so there was, I did uh, a bit of walking then, and then uh, I came down here to the bridge. A lot of dogs. He doesn't even know what's going on. So once I get my uh, my shake, um, we'll we'll start moving again. I'll head down towards the, the Fulton Landing. Uh, we'll we'll see the view from there, and then I'll probably have to call it a um, an evening. I'm running low on battery. I do have a, a you know external battery in my bag, but. Uh, but I think uh, I think once we we do this, you know, also, you know, it's good. The the light is falling anyway, so it's been a beautiful night. Though I can't really complain. Lots of lots of dogs. Where the dogs hang out? Ah, oh, it's really nice. I, I bought this, um, it's a Mophie, um, it's called the Power Station, and um, it's 12,000 12, uh, MAH, so I have an iPhone 6 Plus, and with that battery, I can, I can recharge my, my phone four times, so that means I can charge it up, charge it, you know, use it, charge it again four times. Oh. Tour bus. If you, if you, uh, you see Jeff Goldberg, Goldberg's uh, tours, he does from those tour buses. Um, anyway, so you could do it four times. It has two um, USB ports, so if I'm out with my wife and we both need to charge at the same time, we can. Yeah, I don't. I don't really eat their food much. Um, I mean, I have, but uh, mostly I'm. I'm, a, I'm all about their shakes, you know. And you can get on that short line uh, for the shakes, but then you have to wait. You know, they give you the little buzzer thing, and so you, so you have to wait until it's ready. Although I don't know why it takes so long for a shake. But. Anyway, I wonder if it works out here. I mean, I assume it does. Yeah, it, it can charge up a tablet. Anything with you, you know, that charges with a USB uh, charger. So if, it, if you can plug in a USB, um, you know, like a tablet or a smartphone, and you can do you can do both. You can mix them. It's really a, a good charger. I like it so far. I just got it recently, so I'm still I'm still, uh, I'm still new with it. But, uh, so far, so good. I've had other external batteries in the past with my other phones. When I had, uh, like, the iPhone, uh, I had an iPhone 3G. I remember having an external battery with that because that battery, the 3G battery, was horrible. Come on. Sorry, guys, for this detour. It's a little pricey. It's about $130 um, retail. I 
I, um, I work at a place, uh, it's an Apple, they sell Apple products um, and other third-party products um, as well as repair Apple products. So I'm a technician there and I do repairs, but they have a store and they sell this battery and I get a substantial discount on it. Um, so I was able to, uh, to get, a, get one for myself at a substantial discount rate and that kind of justified it for me. $130 is a bit, is a bit pricey. <clears throat> so uh, we're in the Shake Shack down in Fulton Landing. Um, I'm getting a shake, so I'm waiting for that. Uh, once I get that, we'll be heading out to the Fulton Landing uh, where we'll see views of the New York City skyline and the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, yeah, my, my wife, she uses the iPhone 5X. So I don't know about the iPhone 5. I, I, I haven't used that for streaming. But uh, my wife has the 5S and she does streaming on it. So it tends to work fine for her. Yeah, I think it would be fine. Um, you know, the 4S, there might be some, you know, it might run the battery down pretty quickly. I don't think it has quite as large a battery. My 6 Plus though, um, I've been streaming all this time purely on the, the battery of the phone and I'm at 31% right now. So it's, it's pretty pretty damn good. Considering I've always had iPhones and um, my previous iPhones, I always had issues like I would go on Facebook and, and my battery would, would be zapped. Uh, but this phone is really, really good. It's a big, it's a big jump. In, um, in battery technology, I think. Still waiting for this thing to, to buzz. And once it does, I'll get my shake and we'll be out of here. I don't know why it takes so long for a shake, but I guess it's a priority. They have a, they have a system. If you haven't liked or restream, I'd really appreciate it if you did that. Um, it just uh, really helps uh, in my efforts to stream. I put a lot of effort into my streaming. Uh, and it'd be nice if everybody could like and restream. It takes a few seconds, it also gets rid of the two buttons down here. If you click those, the buttons will disappear, you'll have more screen space. buzz at this moment. the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, I'm buzzing. And uh, it was a pretty long walk, so I needed something refreshing. So now I am uh, going up to get my shake. And then we're going to head out to Fulton Landing. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Got my shake. I'm going to get a straw. And then we'll be heading out to Fulton Landing where we will see some vistas of that's good. That's good shit. We're gonna see some vistas of uh, New York City, New York City, of the skyline. I got mustard on me. Mm. 
let me just grab some napkins in case they spill or something. No, I went outside. Out here. Probably would have, but. All right, so we're gonna cross over to the Fulton Landing. A lot of shake, really good. Hits the spot. Things would shake though because it's a lot of air, so you slurp it up and it's like gone in five slurps. And then you just feel you feel full afterwards. And you feel guilty and shameful, but it's good. So this is the Fulton Landing. It'll give us a good view of the New York City skyline. Thank you for that like and uh, retweet, Thunderbird. So there's the Brooklyn Bridge, which we walked across a little while ago. Really is a beautiful night. And the sun is setting behind the buildings. So you're getting such a you're getting kind of this silhouette thing going on. What? See people have done the lock thing. You know, they put the locks on the gate over here. The shake is almost gone. It's kind of sad. So here we are at Fulton Landing. There's the Brooklyn Bridge, the Manhattan Bridge in the distance over here. the New York City skyline. You see the uh, World Trade Center. You see New York Waterway ferry going across there. And in the distance, over here, this building here, that's the Empire State Building. My shake is gone already. It's unbelievable. They find a place to uh, throw this away. It's a beautiful night, really beautiful night. So, um, this is all the way down to the southern tip of Manhattan. <laughs> Looks like you're below the Brooklyn Heights promenade. Uh, no, that's a little further, further down this way. But yeah, I mean, essentially, that's kind of, I'm gonna walk along here. Again, those who've ever played Grand Theft Auto will know this area. So I'm gonna walk down this way. Try to keep you guys facing towards the city there. Lismo, Lismo Aid. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guy. 
guy had a uh, Star Wars shirt on, and he and I have a Star Wars shirt on, and he was, it was this moment of, hey, we both like Star Wars, but then so does millions of other people. So the sun, is, the sun said it's just perfect tonight. The clear sky. The weather's pretty nice. It's slightly chilly. I can see as the evening goes on, it might get really chilly. But uh, I'm feeling good so far. I've had my shake. And we're going to walk along here. I'm at 28% battery. Cruise ships usually dock on the other side of Manhattan. These are like uh, ferries and such. So some of the New York waterway ferries. You know, the water taxis. So, it's looking out towards New York Harbor, <clears throat> Lower Manhattan, World Trade Center. A lot of people out tonight. Just a lot of people. So, like I said, this is looking out over the, uh, the harbor. The, this is New York Harbor that way. And way over there, that's the Statue of Liberty. That's a great sunset, too. Looking back over the bridge, we came, we walked completely across this bridge. And then went out around, came around, came down here. And here we are. Cruise ships come from New York to St. John, New Brunswick, which is Canada, right? Remember, I am learning. Those people sitting here. It's like they're waiting for a concert or something. <clears throat> so I'm gonna I'm gonna um, plug in my battery. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna prop you guys. Let's see. There we go. Hope you guys can see. Get my battery prepared. It's a way to do this so I can keep it in my bag. Just have the, the cord hanging out of the bag. I dropped you guys, sorry about that. Just make sure everything's okay. And now I'm gonna plug in so I have my little thing here. And now we're plugged in. We're plugged in, we are charging, and we're mobile. Kind of 
cool. Look at that uh, ferry boat out there. So I have the I have the cord for my battery hanging out of my bag, so I can, uh, you know, I don't have to hold the battery, but it does kind of limit my movement. So it's kind of annoying. It's like I have to move my whole body. To turn around. So I'm gonna go a little bit further down this way. <clears throat> and then the head back. It's such a beautiful night, it just kind of spurs you on. Everybody taking their pictures. We still have these things. It's kind of amazing. Those looking glass things. Guys are just complimenting each other. It's like you're high fiving. I like that. Thanks. High five. It's not really like I feel, tired of I feel it, like I don't like even need to be here. Different places, like I'm more exciting. So I was just curious. Uh, there's a structure down this way. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> Oh, such a beautiful night. So, uh, I think soon I'll be uh, heading back. Um, it's just going to get darker. And I want to get back home. <clears throat> My legs get a little tired. I'm not as young as I used to be. I used to walk like a fiend back in my, my younger days. And I could still do it. I just, uh, I got arthritis in my knees. And just, uh, after a while, it's just like, ugh. Oh. <clears throat> What a beautiful city that is. So one thing about live streaming, I really, you know, I, I, I kind of, uh, you know, through showing you, it's like having a, you know, when you have a, a, a guest come stay with you, you know, and you take them to all the touristy places, places you'd never go yourself. And it's kind of like that, you know, it's kind of like you are my guest and I take you to the places that, I don't go or I take for granted and uh, and then here we are so up up this way that's the Brooklyn promenade up there so yeah we are below that <clears throat> that's a dock I think you can get the New York waterway there they used to be you used to be able to get it over on the Fulton Landing, and for some reason they changed it. So here we are. We're pretty. We're as far south as you can go, and still have have a really good view of the uh, of the city. It's really beautiful. The watchtower hovering above us. It is 8.48 p.m. It is 70 degrees. <laughs> 21 degrees Celsius for the Celsius people. Canadian guest and your cat friend. Aww. 
I really wish on the Meerkat, though, you could zoom in as you can on Periscope. Like I said, if they could just blend some of the, the good features from Periscope and blend it with the good features of uh, Meerkat, it'd really be, really be cool. Ah, I smell the ocean. Where is it? We are, we are in Brooklyn looking at the Manhattan skyline. This is the Brooklyn Bridge here. We walked across this uh, earlier, and now we're in Brooklyn looking back at Manhattan on a beautiful night, 70 degree night. Like I said, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't mind if I had a sweater, a little, you know, a little thin something, like my hoodie, except that earlier I didn't need it. So that's why I didn't bring it. But I'm not, I'm not like freezing or anything. It's, it's nice. But, uh, so in the distance, let me see, the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building, the Verizon Building. I don't know what these buildings are, but the World Trade Center right here. One World Trade Center. This is all a uh, financial area of Manhattan, southern Manhattan. And this is the sound of the, I don't know if you can hear the sound of the, the water lapping up against the, the dock here. It's just very peaceful. Extremely peaceful. And I'm, and I'm like in the corner of the gate here, so I'm just kind of leaning up against this post, looking back. It's really nice. Uh, don't mind me while I enjoy this, the, the air. I could smell the, the ocean, the salt water. There's a sailboat in the distance over there with a, some kind of uh, ferry going past. It looks like the water taxi. Where did Joan Rivers live? I don't know where she lived exactly. I would think she lived on the Upper West Side. It just seems like the type of place. I saw her up there once, obviously before she died, not after she died. But uh, I saw her up there. Uh, I used to work at the Apple Store on Fifth Avenue on 59th Street. And she was over there, and I don't know why she was over there, but she was over there. Uh, so I kind of feel that's where she was. she lived. And then I worked, I worked at the, um, one year I worked the uh, Macy's Thanksgiving Parade and uh, she was on the float. I got her on uh, video. If I, had, if I had live streaming then, I would have live streamed that whole thing. That would have been really cool. I don't do the parade anymore. I did it two years just for the experience of it. And uh, it was always one of those things I, I wanted to do. I, I, you know, I, I remember going to a parade when I was a little, little kid. And I just remember it being crazy. My dad had to put me on his shoulders because I couldn't see anything. And I always wanted to go to the parade, but I didn't want to deal with the crowds. So I got a job uh, with the street operations team. So they, they help um, with the balloon inflation, you know, inflating of the balloons. And then they also help uh, organize uh, the parade as it starts so we get everybody in, in their proper lineup and we get them going and then after after we do that then then we're done we're like our part is done uh, but we can march with the parade so I marched the entire parade route with the Thanksgiving parade um, just because I always wanted that experience of doing it um, and I videotaped it all but uh, if I had live streaming then I, I would have definitely live streamed it 
it, it was it's, it's, it's an experience and it would have been nice to, to share it um, live you know and not, not you know I have it on video but that you know who's going to really see that so anyway so the sun is going down here and so I think I'm going to end my stream here I do appreciate everybody if you haven't um, if you haven't liked it and uh, retweeted I would appreciate it if you did that now um, just helps people know about me and know about my my streams feel free to follow me I would really appreciate that too and in the future I'll do more and more streams and you guys will be notified when I do and um, we can all enjoy it together um, I do appreciate those who have uh, participated in the, in the discussions tonight um, Del Dude and Ed um, you guys are always good I see you in Jeff's streams all the time and um, you're always engaging and that's really what Meerkat is about so um, anyway ah, just really enjoying this view um, somebody said uh, Del Dude uh, been to Times Square on New Year's or, or too young of a crowd no, I've never done New Year's uh, Times Square, and I don't think I ever will, unless I got a job there. You know, I got a production job where I had to be on the other side of the barricades. But the idea that those people line up, they, they get to, the, to that area in the beginning parts of the day, like 11 o'clock in the morning, sometimes even earlier. And, they, and then once they're in their little pen, they can't leave all day until midnight. And you're staying there only for one moment. And yeah, they do, they do musical things, but you can watch it on TV so much easier. And then you're there to watch a stupid ball, which you probably can't even see from there. So no, no, no thank you. Uh, <laughs> thanks man, just caught the end of the walk. Yeah, we've been going at it for a while. So uh, we started like a little after seven. So we've been, uh, so it's, it's been going for a while. It's kind of nice, the lights are coming on. The latest, the, the city's glowing now. But uh, anyway, but the Times Square thing, I will never do that um, unless I'm being paid and I'm on the other side of the barricade and I can come and go as I please. I, I don't need to do that. It, it just seems silly to me. And it's always cold, right? Anyway. So uh, that's it, guys. I know I know you guys don't want it to end, but... It's Carbonette. I read Carbonette. That was her closing theme. Anyway, so... Uh, do a few more pans. I, I love that it's now glowing. All right, guys. I think I should just end it here because this is just the perfect spot. End of a perfect stream on a perfect night in New York City. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to head out. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs>